I'm Jennifer and today in our final episode of the ROI of an MBA, we will explore your most sought after topic, return on investments. So an MBA no doubt is one of the most popular management degrees in the world because of its lucrative salary and promising career options. Before taking admission, every student like you and me put in some thought into the MBA college in terms of the returns it can offer us. To determine the true value of an MBA, you need to figure out how will you calculate its returns from the investments that you will be making. For the past year at Inside IIM, we have been conducting one-on-one -on -one career coaching sessions as counsel, short domain-specific courses as master classes, and university-affiliated certificate programs. Now, we are extremely excited to announce that we have a new home for all these highly rated programs in altuni.in. So, if you are looking to earn a high salary, get a promotion, switch jobs, click on the link in the description or just visit altuni.in. Thank you, enjoy the video and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update. Cheers. So what is an ROI and what is its importance? Well, an ROI is an acronym for return on investments, which measures a degree's profitability. ROI helps you measure how and in what time can you pay back the hefty amount of fees that you took as a loan in order to become debt free sooner. Hence, an ROI is always the main focus point by all aspirants who are willing to take admission in a B school. As today, the fees of top B schools are going exceptionally high. The following chart will show you that the average salary divided by the program fees for two years into 100 will give you your ROI in terms of a percentage. It is seen that getting MBA admission to the tier one colleges offer a better ROI to candidates than other colleges. The ROI for FMS Delhi is 1333.33%. JBIMS Mumbai is 335.5% and TIS Mumbai is at 1044.79%. So these are the top colleges that have the best ROI of an MBA due to their lower fees. So now how do you go about calculating the ROI of your MBA? Well, to calculate the ROI can definitely be a tedious task, but it can be made easy if you have all the necessary metrics with you. An easy way to do this is to estimate your starting salary and annual hike in salary, which is usually determined by your work experience and professional responsibilities. So divide the total tuition of your MBA by the salary hike to figure out the time you need to clear your debts. Also take into account EMI's outstanding debt or recurring medical charges, which will make a dent in your monthly paycheck. A clear picture of all your checks and balances will help you figure out the timeline for your ROI. As it's only once that you've paid all your loans will your ROI start to kick in. So for example, if your salary is rupees 5 lakhs before enrolling in an MBA and the college at present offers rupees 10 lakhs as an average salary and the fees for the college is rupees 18 lakhs, therefore the number of years it will take you is rupees 18 lakhs divided by 10 lakhs minus 5 lakhs which is equal to 3 years and 6 months. So there are also a lot of different MBA ROI calculators that can be used after considering various different parameters. Next coming to the factors to consider. Now in case you're still mulling over whether you should actually go in for an MBA at all, remember that aside from the monetary aspect of an ROI, there are a lot of other factors which will help you decide on your ROI as well as it helps ensure that you get major payoffs for the cost incurred by you. So number one, the monetary aspect. First and foremost, you obviously have to factor in the campus placements, average package of, of the offers, the roles offered, the caliber of the course, scholarships, net tuition cost, living cost, amenities, and everything that actually affects your existing and future funds. So this might sound like a lot of work right now, but it will help you stay on the top of your financial situation and will directly affect your ROI. Number two, power to repay the debts. So many students take an MBA education loan to pursue your MBA. While the cost of an MBA can be relatively high, it's also a fact that MBA graduates from premier B schools get high starting salaries. 
a salary to debt ratio can be helpful in identifying the ROI as this can give you a clear picture of the time taken to repay the debt and the risk involved in choosing a B school for pursuing your MBA. Next, an MBA also provides you with a lot of intangible value and benefits that have to be considered by you. So this brings us to number three, which is the power to climb the corporate ladder. An MBA graduate generally gets a better start salary raise and incentives. Also, the chance to climb the corporate ladder is much faster for those who are proactive go-getters. Having an MBA qualification certainly gives you an impetus when compared to others who do not have the same. This must be factored in while calculating your ROI. Number four, the ranking of the B school. The rankings of B schools greatly impact the ROI of an MBA program as better the ranking, better is the brand value that the institution has. The National Institutional Ranking Framework is a methodology adopted by the Ministry of Human Resources Development to rank institutions of higher education in India. Other than this, there are many other agencies like the Times Higher Education World University Rankings as well as the Inside IIM B School Rankings that could be used to choose an MBA and calculate your ROI. Number five, factor in the networking gains. So an MBA is all about networking. While doing an MBA or even after the completion, you might see yourself having a good network of people in your arena. It will help in establishing a great professional as well as academic network, which is something that can help you throughout your career, even much after your MBA. Hence, it must be considered by you as it helps give you the true value of your investment. Number six, assess to education skill-based advancements. So an MBA helps equip you to navigate with high-powered corporate and the financial spectrum, which in so many ways also helps shape the nation's economy as well. The advanced knowledge makes you a more competent manager, leading to increased productivity of your workforce. An MBA also helps you to hone the necessary hard as well as soft skills. Number seven, the freedom and value of being an entrepreneur. So an MBA degree can offer a lot when it comes to taking greater control over one's career direction and progression. So many people today have started their own ventures either immediately after graduating or even several years down the line. The knowledge you acquire, the connections you make, and even the whole MBA ecosystem will always provide you with great support, whether that's by connections with angel and venture capital firms or even incubation centers. This all is what's the cost of your degree and assigning a value to them is of utmost importance while computing the ROI. Thus, all of these factors must be considered by you when you sit down to calculate the ROI of your MBA. And it's also for all the above reasons that the topmost B schools in our country always have an edge over others in their ROI, both in monetary as well as non-monetary terms. So for a good ROI, go for a program that gels well with your long-term goals as well as your existing profile. Remember that your business degree can own you a new skill sets and give you access to a great network. But always be realistic and pragmatic about your commuting routes, the city you want to study in, the ecosystem you want to cultivate which will benefit you further in your professional life as well. Your ROI also depends on how fast you can further up in your career, especially if you chalk in your projected salary into your calculations. So it's very essential to stay rooted in the details and the realities of the scope of earnings and also any hindrances and challenges which you might face. So with this, we've come to the end of our series, The ROI of MBA. I hope you enjoyed the series and got to learn a lot about financing your MBA. And now I'm much more confident to go ahead and get that funding for yourself. Thank you so much.